In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a printed circuit board layout, or PCB. We'll be starting with a schematic design, and we'll create our PCB by defining its shape, placing the components, and routing the wires. Our starting point will be the schematic we've created in our previous tutorial. If you haven't watched the relative video yet, I recommend you do so before continuing to watch this one. With our schematic on the screen, I'm going to click on the Switch to PCB document icon. This will bring up the PCB specific interface. The first thing I want to do is resize my PCB outline. We're now going to position our parts within our circuit board. First, let's move our timer. Click and hold your left mouse button down on the component handle and drag it, as you can see on my screen. I also want to rotate my timer by 180 degrees. Simply go to Place, Rotate and click twice on the component, like so. Next, I'll move my LEDs to the left corners of my PCB and the JP1 component to the top right corner. I also want to rotate my JP1 by 90 degrees. Finally, I want to move my resistors and capacitors to the board. I'm also going to rotate each of them by 90 degrees. Keep in mind that the positioning of the components on a PCB is very subjective. So, if the air wires on your screen look different than on mine, it is not a problem. We are now going to route the wires for our PCB. I will first show you how to do this manually and then explain how the PCB can be routed automatically. For manual routing, the first thing I'm going to do is use the Pure Polygons tool. This will optimize the route of my air wires. If nothing happens on the screen, it means that their positions were already optimized. Now let's look at some manual routing tools. If I click on this pin, you can see that a red line appears representing a route being created on the top of the board. The air wire remains, indicating the end of that signal. If I now click on the pad, my route has been created. I'm going to create another one now to show you how to transition a trace from the top layer to the bottom layer by placing a via while manual routing. Click on the pad to begin routing some distance. Then click your middle mouse button or the spacebar, to invoke a via. Once you find the position you want your via to be, left click to place it. As you continue routing, you will notice that the trace has changed to the color blue, indicating you are now routing at the bottom of the board. Let's now delete our manual routes to use the auto router, which will route our connections automatically. To delete them, simply go to rip up then click on Rip Up All. Clicking on Yes when prompted, you can see that there's no routes on my PCB. To route your PCB automatically, go to Quick Route and click on Auto Router. As this is a two-layer board, only layers 1 and 16 will be considered. I can also change the amount of effort used by the software when routing my board. In this case, I'll set the effort to high, as I only have two layers. Clicking on continue, I'll get a preview of how many solutions the algorithm is going to find. If I now click on start, you can see how quickly Fusion 360 has generated several optimized routing alternatives for me to choose from. In this case, I'm going to pick the option with the least vias. If I now click on end job, my routing is complete. This concludes the tutorial on how to create a PCB layout.